October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're at the end of it. And so um, these are uh, three poems. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a survivor. This is my 16th year. So I call it, I call it my sweet 16th. Uh, anyway, the difficult part for me was telling my mom. So this poem uh, is called Just a Touch. I assured mom it would be all right. Said it's treatable, in sight too, contained in a milk duck. It was hard saying the word in an audible tone. Mom whispered the C word as if it were a curse, as if it were catching. Believed once they cut, exposed it to the air, it spread like wildfire. Thank God her lump was just a cyst. I recalled how she felt them cutting into her breast, said it wasn't painful, a sensation like dental work under Novocaine. Terrified, remembering her whispers and words, I had to remain calm, sugarcoat things for her sake, understate, be optimistic, reassuring. I was frightened of what would happen to me, feared the treatments wouldn't erase the image they showed me. My stepson's mom had a desire to live. Months of treatments, surgeries, the metastasis of her disease, six months before my diagnosis. Don't worry, Mom. Please stop crying. It's just a touch. I'll be fine. I try to uh, uh, find humor in situations, and this was a difficult situation to be in when I was uh, going in for the surgery after all kinds of tests and probing and prodding and inserting of surgical clips. So I call this one Dixie Cup. I spent days reassuring family and friends, trying to fake my calm Why, while inside I was terrified. I hid my feelings, masked my emotions, tried to find humor throughout the ordeal. I joked, saying I had a touch of cancer, and with my small chest, it was no big thing. When the wire-threaded needle inserted into my upper breast, mapping the surgical clip protruded from the hospital gown, I told the technician it was like a scene from Pulp Fiction. So she covered it with a paper cup. In the elevator, on the way down to the OR, other patients stared, so I smiled. I said, I went from a B cup to a Dixie cup. <laughs> As they wheeled me in for surgery, semi-drugged, quite relaxed, my eyes focused on a pair of red clogs beside the gurney. It was my surgeon. I remember saying, Dr. Mora, I have the feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Wow. And since I am a survivor, I have another chance, another chance. I have a chance to begin again, accept the blows, heal, mend, absorb life's journeys, alter, I'm sorry, mend, absorb life's shocks, alter the journey. Scars still disrupt my calm. I scratch away layers, exfoliate fear, flaunt them in stories and verse, cloaked in cups of surreal. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.